intentions are good I'll take care of you like I said I would I swear my intentions are good I'll take care of you Cause boy I care for you Good morning from the first bus of the day. We started our day very early to hop on the first bus to Incheon for a very special occasion. We are coming to Songto district of Incheon, also known as the city of the future. We are attending the 62nd Korean Neurosurgical Society annual conference. taking a small walk I hope that we don't get lost because it's the first time in this park and it's the first time in Incheon outside the con uh, Songdo Convencia so it's like a conference um, conference center in Incheon so we are at Korean Neurosurgical Society uh, annual conference which um, this year marks the 62nd conference 60 60th in terms of the offline meetings, uh, 62nd in terms of the meetings in total. So I've been there last year uh, for the conference, half online, half offline, and it was really interesting. So I'm sure in many fields in medicine is no other, no exception from that. Um, we have to improve our knowledge and our skills, uh, and medicine is a in general, medicine is a field uh, of study, of science that um, is improving extremely fast and uh, growing extremely intensively, especially in the last few years in terms of new technologies and treatment options, so annual meetings, uh, especially the, the opportunity that today's world brings that we can meet uh, with people from many different countries, even online or offline, is extremely beneficial for us for like making our uh, making medicine better in general. So uh, yeah, so uh, we are at this conference today uh, and tomorrow as well. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the clips from from there. And here in the entrance you can see congratulatory flowers, also known as Chukka Hwahan. It is a very special tradition in Korea. In order to congratulate the organizing committee or a person who started a business, these flower towers are being sent with pink ribbons congratulating the recipient on them. The program of such conferences is usually very packed and the lectures are held from 7.30 to late afternoon, sometimes evening, with very short breaks. In the beginning, there is always an opening ceremony with the speeches from the organizing committee, the mayor of the town, as you can see here, mayor of Incheon. And of course there are a lot of lectures, but there are also different attractions and events during such conferences. And during this conference, there was an exhibition of neurosurgical equipment used in the past. So here you can see an old stereotactic frame in which the patient's head is being placed during the surgery. And here you can see one of the first neurosurgical microscopes, which is quite different from what we use today. Here you can 
fancy surgical eye loops, which are glasses with special small magnifiers. During the conference, there's also a medical companies fair. Here, for example, you can buy a lot of newer surgical books. There was also an event during which if you visit all of the companies, you get a stamp from them and you can win some gifts in the end of the conference. After the first day, we are taking a short walk in Songdo Central Park and I will tell you a little bit about the language that we study in in Korea and how is it different from studying medicine in Europe. This is a question that I, I get asked a lot, so let me just try to answer it very briefly. Um, what is the language of the academia in Korea, especially in terms of medicine? So as far as I know, in most of the Korean schools, um, of course, there are a lot of departments that offer English courses and English uh, language degrees. But in terms of medicine, most of the schools, if not all of them, are fully in Korean. What I think is really cool in Korea that um, there are a lot of English, there are a lot of Korean textbooks which are being used, but there are also a lot of English textbooks that are being used as well as. Um, most of the slides that professors uh, are presenting but also when we have to do a presentation we have to present it in Korean so the language of the lecture or the language of our presentation is in Korean but the slides are in English which I think that is really important and really valuable skill to have in terms of uh, you know like starting your uh, presentation life uh, presentation research kind of conference life during your classes as well. Actually, in Poland, we didn't use as much of the English nomenclature, international standards in English. We were using it mostly in Polish. So um, I see that, like, I, I feel that if we had the opportunities to present um, even our slides in English as it is in Korea, I think that it would be uh, a huge advancement to towards our the research life. So yeah, I think that uh, this would answer this would answer the question: Do I study in Korean or in English? I study kind of in both, but uh, Korean is the main main language that I study in. Uh, that will be all. And uh, I'm thinking about grabbing a coffee or a cake, something like something to eat because uh, we had a lunch on seminar, and that will be all for our food for today because. Um, I started my trip today at 5.30, I think 5.30 was it, uh, so and we just had only lunch, so I'm a little bit hungry. It is really beautiful, this central park is really beautiful at night and uh, I, I want to go to some other places in Incheon tomorrow, so yeah, let's just grab something to eat and wait until the sun goes down and yeah, we'll have a walk then. Trilogy. 
and we are starting day two. Today there were a lot of guest lectures about neuro-oncology, pediatric neurosurgery, and one of the foreign professors even said Kamsamnida, thank you in Korean, in the last part, and it was just so nice. We also had a lunch on seminar and it is a custom that I've only experienced in Asia. I think because there are so many topics to discuss that even lunch time is spent for listening to lectures and discussing the most modern topics in medicine while we are enjoying our lunch as well. And today in Songdo Konvencia I also met a robot who unfortunately didn't want to chat with me and was always escaping when I was trying to start a conversation with it. There was also a cool VR experience where you could just see Incheon from many different perspectives and virtually visit a lot of cool places in Incheon. And our last conference stop was the Nairobi Coffee Bistro, which is also located in a conference venue. This cafe is very special due to many reasons. They have patented coffee beans preparation, very thoughtful process of delivering products from the field to the customer and also very thoughtful interior, a lot of attention to detail. So it was amazing to have this opportunity to take a sip of a great coffee in such a beautiful place. Thank you so much for coming to the conference with me. Don't forget to click the like if you like the video and comment what you like the most in the conference and subscribe if you would like to see more medical and cultural content. Thank you and stay tuned. Bye.